because I was always convinced that my life was going to change at that age, and then it like didn't. So that was that was like a crisis, and now I'm not really. I thought Jonathan Harris's presentation was fascinating. Um, I thought his projects provided a lot of insight into collecting stories and uh, gave some great examples for what could be done uh, using the web. Oh, we feel fine. I found that to be amazing and uh, just very well thought through and um, the amount of data that this thing collected is just mind-boggling. So. Um, yeah. Outer world fixation, I'm making sure the outer world, this traditional world works right, and an emphasis on the inner, right? Reshaping values and culture. And this lines up with... Um, very much enjoyed the talk. He gave us a lot to think about, about the context of where our parents are uh, coming from today. Um, a lot of food for thought in terms of bringing that message back to our faculty and helping them understand where they're at uh, with regard to online communications and where our students are at. I'm, I'm thrilled because I just found out that I moved up from the baby boom generation to the Gen X generation. I was on the cusp for a while, but since I was born in 1962, I'm actually one year into it, so I'm, I'm so happy. I feel so much younger. What a great park this is. This is my first time at the park. We're seeing a great game. The uh, Boston uh, Red Sox are uh, ahead by uh, one run in the third inning, so uh, we hope they win the game. What a great night for a ball game. Fenway Park, um, enjoying a Boston's Red, Boston Red Sox game uh, versus the Minnesota Twins. Um, that's my boss. Here we are, bottom of the seventh inning. Red Sox looking to rebound from a 4-1 deficit. A fast-moving ball game. Both pitchers on their game. We were pretty impressed with the multimedia library. Actually, we were super impressed. We didn't have it, and we've been using Fanfare and YouTube and several different uh, tools to try and sort of create our own version of multimedia because we, we weren't pleased with the last one, but uh, we're really down with this one, so hopefully it's in the budget and we can go buy it ASAP. I think it's awesome. I think that um, the authentication will be the key to it because everything we do is behind the um, on the private side of the website so I think in admissions it would be awesome for people to maybe go in and get some things there and maybe have school closings general information like that quick information that people will need um, uh, sporting events and directions I think would be awesome things that people need on the flight Hi, I'm sitting with Claire and we are debriefing on all of our great sessions and Claire's got a million ideas that she wants to implement about five minutes ago so we're getting things up and running as we speak. It's gonna be great! <laughs> hey, we are using our mobile computing devices in order to uh, check out the Red Sox game because we're in Boston and that's what we gotta do. <laughs> You're not gonna put that on the website, are you? The best part of my day was working with my wonderful project lead, Darren Worcester, who helped me tremendously as the information is oozing out of my ears and the cranial cavity is becoming absolutely engorged. He helped me through some directory work in our new site, which hopefully is going to go live before the next millennium. Hi there, I've come to UC08 all the way from Los Angeles, California. That's about a 3,000 mile trek. And I'll tell you what, that six hour plane ride was absolutely worth it. Uh, this has already been three days of absolutely terrific 
sessions, speakers, and information, and wonderful feedback from colleagues. Thank you very much, Whipple Hill. It's been great to see the conference evolve over the past uh, five years. I was hired as an intern, and uh, it was the first conference, and to be here at the Seaport is really something else. It's phenomenal. It's great to be a part of. Thank you.